so hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, in the last video I showed you guys how to display the artwork uh, so in this video I'm going to show you how to show the notifications uh, when the song is playing and play the song in background uh, for example let's say when I'm playing a song as you can see the song is playing fine now when I close this the song closes itself so uh, what I need is unless uh, I pause the song and close the app the song needs to be playing alright so uh, this is going to be a play along tutorial so uh, I also researched how to play this uh, songs uh, on background services a few days ago so I'm going to follow a github uh, tutorial so you can do that along with me so first of uh, what you'll need to do is under Android go on to your app section SRC main and Android manifested XML all right now add uh, two new permission the two new permission is foreground service and wake lock all right now after you've done that what you need to do is you need to add a new dependency onto your flutter project the dependency is going to be just audio background i'll link this in the description so just copy this go on to your popspec.yaml and paste it all right now paste this uh, click on pop get so after you've done that what you need to do is uh, come into this page I'll just link it in the description copy this all right and under void main uh, replace this void main and uh, replace this void main with a text you've, uh, that you've copied from here all right import the package after you've done importing your package now what you need to do is under now playing screen that I cre uh, created on the last video come into here and go into the section where we have uh, parsed the URI so copy the from here tag copy this tag attribute all right now after uh, the audio source URI uh, where you have passed the URI paste this now import this media item and under ID what you need to do is we need the ID from the song model so the ID is gonna be widget.songmodel.id the album name is going to be widget.songmodel.album alright and the song name is going to be widget dot song model dot display name without extension all right now after you've done that you need uh, another process so uh, come into here click on this repository github i'll also link this uh, in the description go into example android app src main tvt android manifest xml copy from uh, activity until the end of the line manifest all right just copy this uh, go on to your android manifest.xml uh, of main and replace from here activity to manifest all right now our work here is done uh, just build the app again first of i don't know why it is not taking my package let me just pop get it all right now build the app all right now the app is built now let's try out uh, playing a song as you can see the song is playing fine and when I close the app the song is playing again uh, when I click on the power button it's playing and the Android notification is showing 
all right so we have two options here play and pause so, since we are only playing a single song uh, we are only getting two options uh, play and pause uh, let's say you had multiple songs then uh, you would also get the option to uh, move into next song and move into previous song all right so this it uh, this is it for the video as you can see uh, we are also showing notification we are also playing it in the background we are playing it in the background we are also showing the notification so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching in the next tutorial I'll show you how to play multiple songs so uh, since uh, we are only playing one song here by uh, navigating to the next screen and playing that song from the song model in the next video I'm going to show you how to play multiple songs so that the uh, act, uh, So that the icon bottoms here uh, can seek and uh, seek to previous or next songs All right So that's it. Uh, thank you for the thank you for watching the video. See you until next time